I had someone ask about how to create FM bell type sounds with the System 1. So I'm going to show you two methods. One method is common to a bunch of synths, but the second method is something that's specific to the System 1. So the first method is using crossmod. So as you hear, I have just a triangle wave selected here. And what crossmod does so I have just oscillator 1 that you're hearing. Cross mod takes oscillator 2 and routes that to the pitch of oscillator 1 so that oscillator 2 is modulating the pitch. And you hear, as I turn it up, it starts to make some really interesting sounds. Now the way that FM usually works is by having an audio rate oscillator like that modulating the pitch of another oscillator and the amount of modulation will turn down automatically when you press a key. Kind of like that, so you're just left with a sine wave or in this case triangle at the end. But you're obviously not going to want to do that manually every time. So what we'll do instead is, because this is just adding harmonics, which is a lot of higher frequencies in the sound, we can use the low pass filter to shave those out over time. So we'll start by creating a bell tone that we kind of like. So right now both oscillators are at the same frequency, but FM really works nice when you pitch one of them oscillators up. So I'm going to pitch up oscillator 2. And again, I'm just listening to oscillator 1 here, not oscillator 2 at all. So that's, I think, kind of good for the starting of our bell tone. And I'm going to shape the envelope here. I had sustain up full. I'm going to take it down and just add a bit of decay. So already you can hear that it's sounding very close to a bell just from decreasing the volume. But we're going to take it one step further. And... Before that volume is out, we're going to use the filter envelope to remove some of those harmonics. So we're just kind of left with a fundamental right before the volume disappears. So you hear already it's a very convincing bell sound. And then you can tweak the cross mod amount to get different tones out of that. It's going to sound more metallic, more drum-like, depending on where this setting is. And then there's just back to uh, just a triangle wave. So now I'm going to show you the other method of doing FM synthesis with the System 1. And that is by holding down Legato and then selecting the triangle wave. Now with the color knob all the way down, you hear it's just a sine wave. But as I turn that color knob up, it starts to add FM modulation. So I can dial that in to get a decent sounding bell tone. And then again, tweak my amp envelope. And one of the cool things with this, unlike the cross mod knob, the color knob can be modulated by a bunch of different sources. So I'm going to be using my filter and amp envelope. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm not using the pitch envelope. I'll select that and I have some decay set there. So there's without, it's just a steady tone, and now with pitch envelope applied to it, it's going to basically turn this knob automatically for me, based on the rate of decay that I have set there. So that's a pretty good sounding bell already, and I can add a little bit of filtering just to remove some of the harshness from that FM sound. And one of the cool things about this is 
Oscillator 2, I can do the exact same thing. I have it pitched up one octave though. So now I'm layering two bell sounds together. And of course, any bell stuff sounds better with a bit of reverb and delay. There you go, very convincing bell sound.